everyone out there still watching me? Are you still watching me? If I were watching me, I'd be really mad at me. Because <laughs> I haven't done a video in a very long time. And I was like trying to think of excuses and I really don't have any. Um, actually, I've done about like five updating update videos. But um, I don't know, I just I didn't put them up. Mostly because I was trying to do them when the kids were awake. And um, they just kept getting into trouble and I'm just sitting here doing a video and I'd have to like stop put Pierce on time out because he was acting crazy to his sister and then like be all flustered and coming back on the camera <laughs> while it's still rolling. I wanted to do an update with everything. Uh, I'm gonna start with um, let's start with Reagan. Um, Reagan is now 14 months and that's so crazy. I can't believe how fast the second one, the second kid grows like five times faster than the first. <laughs> Let's see, she's walking now. She started walking at 13 months, and actually, um, she stopped breastfeeding at 13 months. I was so surprised because I thought she would be the kind of baby who would breastfeed forever. Um, she was such a good breastfeeder. Um, I never fed her bottles because she didn't care for them. Um, but as soon as she started walking, she's like, um, I don't know, I just, I tried breastfeeding her, and she would like drink for a minute and be like, you know, get away from me, you know, I, I want to go explore or do something. So I was kind of sad and surprised, you know, I was like, I'm not ready for you to do that. And so, um, I don't know, it made me really sad. But on the other hand, I am kind of happy that she's not going to breastfeed forever. <laughs> a lot of people, not my immediate family or anything, like my own family, but my husband's family. We always ask, like, when is she, um, she's still breastfeeding? How long are you going to breastfeed her for? And I was like, I know they're asking out of curiosity, but the way they asked it was kind of um, more like, when are you going to stop breastfeeding her so we can do more things? I don't know. It was like, it's not really any of your business. It's kind of a personal thing. So um, it really kind of annoyed me. And a lot of other people would ask me too, and I was like, what is this? Like, I don't care to share that with you. So, um, my plan, I'd always would tell them, I'd say, she'll, she'll, when she's done breastfeeding, she'll, she'll let me know. And I'd be like, ooh, okay. And she did. She said, I'm done. And, yeah, that's it. So she's walking. She's eating table foods now. Um, and... I don't know, she's drinking out of her own sippy cup, all that stuff, so. And she's sleeping great. For a while, um, 13 months, <clears throat> about, yeah, about 12, 13 months, those two months, um, she kept waking up throughout the night, it was really frustrating, and I was like, why is your sleep going? Then I had to remember, with Pierce, he did the same thing. And I think it was mostly out of comfort. Reagan would wake up crying and wanted me to hold her, so uh, most times I'd just bring her to bed and sleep with her. So she's not sleeping with us anymore. She's sleeping throughout the night until like about seven o'clock in the morning. Sometimes eight, she'll sleep in her crib. I'll put her down to sleep around nine. Pierce too. Pierce will wake up at the same time. And now, Pierce and Reagan are taking naps at the same time. So that's really exciting. Um, now that that's happening, I can do more things. You know, I have more time and I'll talk about the things I've been doing um, when I talk about myself. <laughs> That's with Reagan. She's doing great, and she's becoming more independent. She's playing more by herself and with her brother, and she's having fun with me. We're reading. We're doing all these fun things, um, learning how to stack things and build things. And that's really cool. Pierce is doing great too. He is. I hate to call him, but it is terrible twos right now. He's just. I don't think it's terrible. It's just. Mm, challenging. <laughs> um, kids at this age really just want. Um, instruction and direction and all that stuff so they're testing the boundaries they're doing things they know they shouldn't do and you as a parent have to be gentle and firm and you know guide them in the right direction that doesn't mean hurting or being crazy but sometimes we all find ourselves a little stressed out and doing things we regret so with Pierce it's where we are right now we're just um, there are days where it's just great um, no problems and 
you know, it's awesome. And then there's days where I'm just like, ah, you're driving me crazy. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, but he's doing good. Um, potty training is not really doing so good. He was doing all right where I'd ask him if he had to go potty and he would um, run to the bathroom and go, but only upon my request, you know, he wouldn't do it on his own. Um, and there were some times where he said potty, but wouldn't go and I would just bring him up. But then we went to a trip to LA last week and um, basically, you know, when you go on a long trip like that, road trip, it's like, it's like it was like a eight, nine hour drive down there. We decided to use disposables because um, my sister lives in an apartment and, you know, washer situation. Anyway, um, so he was in disposables the whole time and basically that backtracked us. And right now he's refusing to go. He's crying every time I even mention going potty. Um, it's like opposite of where we were going. And I find myself extremely frustrated with potty training. Times where I'm like almost in tears. And um, my voice is a little elevated with him, and I'm like, oh, calm down, Armando, you need to calm down. Because <laughs> he'll, he'll hold his potty on the toilet, he will not go, and he'll say, all done. So I'm like, okay, because I can't really make him stay there. He's like trying to get off, he's jumping off, he's crying, I'm not going to stress him out that way. So he'll get off, and then like a minute later, he'll pee in his diaper. Or poop. He, he never really poops in the toilet, even even in the good days. I've talked to some moms, and they just recommend... I mean, they've been through this before, and they just said, um, instead of stressing yourself out, just follow his lead. When he's ready, he'll go. It's not like he's never going to learn how to potty train. He will. One day, he'll just say, I'm ready, and go. So, I've decided to go back to diapers, um... And just because I was using underwear where he would feel the wetness. I mean, I've tried everything, so I don't really need. I mean, you can if you want, put some tips down, but I've tried every method, <laughs> everything. <laughs> I've tried everything. He doesn't want to do it. And I know my inconsistency at the LA trip had some, um, you know, it, it put us back. Um, but I, you know, even before that, even when he was going, when I asked him to go, it wasn't him going, it was me asking him if he wanted to go. So I'm just gonna, um, you know, wait for him to tell me. And you know, at his age right now, every month he learns about a million new things. So I wouldn't be surprised if he learned how to potty, how to potty train next week or next month or in three months. So I'm not going to stress myself out about it anymore. Um, I'm just gonna let him tell me. So that's where we're at with, where we're at with Pierce. Um, He's doing great. He amazes me. I'm, I'm in love with my kids. Like, they are just so <laughs> awesome. And Pierce is talking so much. He's talking in sentences. He'll repeat things we say. Everything we say, he'll repeat. So he's like getting the hang of language and words and sentences. So it's awesome. Tosh and I are going to be buying our first house relatively soon. Um... So that's really exciting, and <laughs> I cannot wait. Very, very excited about that. But yeah, my extra time while they're sleeping for a few hours, like two, three hours tops, um, I have been working out, and I have missed working out. I haven't worked out, like, since before Reagan was born, and I'm loving it. I really love feeling my muscles. Um, my favorite type of workout is Pilates, and it just makes me feel like... A million bucks I feel like taller and leaner and stronger and sexier and all that stuff so really my main problem is my stomach um Reagan was a really 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 big baby she was huge if you look back at my pregnancy videos um my belly really stuck out there so she stretched me out really good and um and there's tummy flap too <sighs> And I just hate the way I look in clothes right now. So I'm, I just, that's why I love Pilates. It really helps you have like that flat stomach. I'm already seeing results and I'm really excited. Especially since spring is around the corner and summer and all that stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's my update. And I plan on doing more videos. And I'll be putting up some pics and some videos of the kids. So look out for those. Um, so thanks for watching. Bye.